Cocktails at Home presented by Patron. My name is Steven and I'm one of the mixologists with Patron Spirits. And I'm joined today by my good friend, Naomi. Hey, thank you so much for having me. Stoked to have you. Yeah. So you're no stranger to entertaining at home. And so I wanted to bring you in so that you can show me some tips and tricks on what you do when you're entertaining and making cocktails for groups of friends. Absolutely. Um, you know, I just think being prepared in advance and having everything ready, but also having really fun cocktails that everyone can enjoy mm -hmm. is a key to success. For sure. So one of my favorite cocktails, especially with Patron Reposado, is the Paloma. Just those like lovely bright vanilla notes, just partners perfectly with grapefruit juice. So I just kind of want to walk you through it and show you how I love to make yeah, it. Let's yeah, do it. 100%. Let's do it. So of course, we are going to start with Patron Reposado. I think Reposado tequila just works so perfectly with grapefruit juice, just that citrus, um, it really just brightens it up and brings it out. So I like to use a, an ounce and a half. So for me, I think everybody knows about the margarita, but I don't think everyone's so familiar with the Paloma. But if you go to Mexico, this is the number one cocktail. But the next I'm gonna use some freshly squeezed grapefruit juice, and I'm gonna use three ounces of this. So this is a crowd pleaser. The, the Paloma is, but it's it's not something that everybody knows about, right? This is kind of a, a great one to serve up for guests that love margaritas, because this, in my opinion, is like the next step for them, yeah. right? If you go down to Mexico, the margarita is not nowhere near as popular as the Paloma. Those are delicious, yeah. Yeah, for sure. But, you know, speaking of fresh juice, I just used about an ounce, about half an ounce of lime juice. Uh -huh. And I really cannot stress this enough. I love fresh squeezed lime juice. I don't like to buy the stuff in the plastic container. Yep. And you know, this will last about a day, but the fresher, the better, always. You know, how much can you get from a, a lime I'd usually? I think for, the, for this recipe, it, it's gonna call for a half ounce of lime. Yeah. For one lime, you typically can expect that you're gonna get about an ounce of juice out of one. Mm -hmm. So half a lime squeezed right in there, you're gonna have plenty. Yeah, and you can actually just squeeze it directly into it if you know the size of your limes Absolutely. you know you don't have to squeeze everything if you have one of those squeezers you can just kind of juice into the into the shaker tin um, now also I love to sweeten this up just a little bit mm -hmm. because you know that grapefruit juice that lime juice those are nice and tart things but this agave yeah. nectar is gonna sweeten this up but I like to cut mine with water just because agave nectar is really viscous yeah. and so it's not gonna shake as well in a cocktail so if you can just cut it with one part water and one part agave, it's gonna shake in that cocktail just much more easily. So just a little bit, that was like a half ounce? That was a half ounce, okay. exactly, just a little bit. Hey, hit me with some ice please? Let's do it. Cool, because we're about to shake this up. And then while Steven is passing me some ice, I'm gonna ask him to cut me just a little bit of lime because I'm actually going to salt this glass. Um, you know, just like a margarita, like we were talking about, it just goes really well with salt. So I just like to get a little bit on the lip and then I will just barely rim it. And I think that this is one of those things that if you were hosting a party for the holidays, this is something that you could have done in advance. You could have your glassware set up yeah. with already with the salt and sugar on there. Um, it makes it really nice and easy. Yeah, 100%. So now I'm just gonna shake this up. Awesome. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Yeah. This is the part that everyone, when they're talking, their heads are gonna turn. They wanna see what's happening behind the bar. Yeah. You know, when you get everyone's attention, you gotta shake up your cocktails for sure. Man, this smells so great. You can really just smell this citrus coming out. Yeah, fill it up with ice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strain this over a fresh glass of ice. But then that's not all. One of my favorite parts about this cocktail is that it has just a little bit of fizz to it. So after I do this, oh, notice how it's not gonna fill up all the way. We just wanna leave a little bit of room because we are actually going to top it with a little bit of club soda. So why did you not shake it with the club soda? Because I have done this before <laughs> and I do not want Paloma all over my kitchen. Smart. If you shake a carbonated drink, it just explodes. So you want to make sure anytime that. you have <laughs> a carbonated ingredient like sparkling wine or sparkling water, that's going to be something that you add in after you shake the rest of the cocktail. 100%. Um, pro tip. But pro tip, definitely you don't want this all over your kitchen because when you separate those shaker tins, it's just going to burst. For sure. So be careful. How do you like to garnish this one? Oh yeah, how about, um, you know, 
Do you mind cutting off just a little bit? You want like a wedge? Yeah, just maybe just a little bit of a wedge. Huh? And you can also do this in advance. So you can have um, glasses that have already been rimmed with salt just sitting to the side. You can have all of your garnishes ready so that if you make these cocktails one by one, they're just ready to go. But what do you like to make? So for me, I'm a big fan of margaritas. Like I said, this is the evolution of it. This is kind of another twist. This one's called a Mexican martini. Very, very similar, but it's got a couple of things that they changed around that make it really, really memorable. And it's one that I love to serve up for my guests. So um, what we're gonna start out with is a shaker and some Patron Silver. Oh, perfect. Why do you choose Patron Silver for this so cocktail? For me, I'm just gonna be using lime juice as my citrus, and so I, I find that Patron Silver and, and lime juice just really, really work well together. It brightens up this cocktail really well. And so you could use Reposado for sure, um, but I find that Patron Silver definitely makes the best version of this. Yeah. And how much did you use there? So that was an ounce and a half that went okay. into that. Next, I'm gonna add in some fresh squeezed lime juice. Oh, I got that. Awesome. Thanks. We're gonna do an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. Yeah, this is starting to shape up a little bit like a margarita. Next part is gonna be our triple sec. This is Patron Citronge. This is kind of like a, a little secret of, of making a great margarita. Using an ingredient like this, um, it's gonna play really, really well. With this, I'm gonna use three quarters of an ounce. And then finally, I just need to add a little touch of sweetness. We're gonna add a quarter ounce of simple syrup. Oh, perfect. So just a little bit sweet. Yeah, if you like it on the sweeter side, feel free to absolutely use a little bit more. If you like it more tart, feel free to keep it out. You know what I mean? You don't have to use this, but that's kind of the only part of this that I would tweak around. I, I think reducing the sugar, I wouldn't add any more of any of the other ingredients. Um, make sure you get it nice and balanced out. So we're ready to go. I'm gonna add ice into this. And you know, with sweeteners like agave syrup or simple syrup, and if you're making these at home, you can really play around with what suits you, what Substitute you like. Them to out. Have. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So if you if you like something that's a little bit sweeter, you know, you can just tweak it just a little bit. Yeah, easily done. One hundred percent. So this cocktail is gonna be served up like it's a martini. So I wanna get it nice and cold. Yeah. So shake it a little bit longer. Make sure that it's nice and icy cold. A quick tap will open it up. And, and, then, and you can kind of see a little bit of frost on the outside of the shaker yeah, too. Yeah, once it gets nice and cold, mm -hmm. you can feel it on your hands, ready to go. We're gonna strain oh, this wow. right into our glass. And look at those bubbles. You can tell that it's been shaken really well because it has just a little bit of of bubbles and it, you can see like a little bit of ice layer on top a too, little just bit. a tiny nice bit. Nice and icy cold. Yeah. And then finally to garnish this one, this is where it gets a little different. Uh, the traditional garnish for this is gonna be olives. So instead of having a salt rim on it, the salinity is gonna come from the brine in these. It sounds weird. This is a super, <laughs> super popular cocktail in Texas and this cocktail is quickly getting more and more popular across the US. If you haven't tried it, don't think about it. Just definitely <laughs> give it a try. The olives go really, really well with this cocktail for sure. And then I'm just gonna finish it off with a lime wheel because we gotta pay homage to that uh, margarita that's that's in its blood basically. And so we're gonna make sure that we oh, that's gorgeous. Top it off. I gotta try yours. Yeah, you have to try this one. Can I yeah. try yours, yeah, yeah, please? Yeah. All right. So well, salute. Cheers. That's awesome. Beautiful, really deliciously refreshing. This is, these are crowd pleasers, you know what I mean? That's kind of why we selected them. So we really hope that you're gonna enjoy these. When you're thinking about your next holiday party, these are some cocktails that should be top of your mind. Give us a shout in the comments and let us know your choice. What do you love to serve at your holiday parties? And don't forget, click below to discover more drink recipes just like these.